हेलो नमस्कार 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 माय नेम इज पूजा द्विवेदी वेलकम टू माय क्लास द डेली करंट अफेयर्स वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सिग्निफिकेंट इवेंट्स ऑफ द पास्ट 24 फोर आवर्स दैट आर गोइंग टू बेनिफिट यू नॉट फ्रॉम द पर्सपेक्टिव ऑफ ओनली प्रॉब्लम्स बट आल्सो फ्रॉम द पर्सपेक्टिव ऑफ योर मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन नाउ बिफोर आई बिगिन आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट प्लीज डू नॉट मेक नोट्स बिकॉज आई प्रोवाइड द नोट्स थ्रू द फॉर्म ऑफ द पी दैट आई एम यूजिंग एंड दैट इज अवेलेबल ऑन माई टेलीग्राम चैनल पूजा द्विवेदी यू If you have any queries regarding this examination, you can talk to me through my Instagram as well. Now, these are the many events that we have to cover. Last time I asked you a practice question. Many of you have answered it correctly. I will take your names by the end of this class. The Doklam standoff between India and China took place in which of the following years? 2016, 17, 18, or 19? See, recently Bhutan and China they have decided to implement the three-step roadmap that they developed in 2021. and they have many unresolved issues which are festering so the 13th expert group meeting on china bhutan boundary issues it was held and that is why they have decided to resolve the issue but india's interest is also a lot because doklam is also one of the topics which is very important strategically that tri junction is very important for india so this is the doklam region and here you can see it is to the east of sikkim's nathula here is bhutan and here is china it is at the tri junction and the under the special treaty of friendship which was signed between bhutan and india in 1949 india defended bhutan when china started making inroads unilaterally changing the status quo over there like china always does so that is why doklam is very important from the perspective of your examination that is why we have to understand it and it all occurred in the year 2017 the crisis moving on consider the following pairs we have to match the artwork and the special feature that is related to them B3 waste soil with oxidizing property, Gond painting use of only dots, Nagar shawl, stories of tribes. So how many of the pairs given above is or are correct? See, recently when the Prime Minister went to the BRICS summit, he gifted many things, such as a pair of sarahi from Telangana to South African President Cyril Ramaphosa. This is the pair that I'm talking about, and this is the B3 work. Also, if we talk about the Gond painting, you can see this is the Gond painting and the Nagaland shawl. Gond painting was gifted to Brazilian president Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva. Nagaland shawl was given to the first lady of South Africa. That is the wife of the Brazil uh, the South African president. Okay? So that is why this is important. Bidri vas as you saw it, it's a beautiful technique how it is made. There are there is a use of alloys such as zinc uh that is made up of zinc or copper and certain other non-ferrous materials. and it has a beautiful lustrous black base how do we get that luster when soil from the bidri fort i'm talking about bidar first of all it is exclusive this art form is exclusive to bidar in karnataka and there is the bidri fort from where you get the soil you mix it and the cast is given to this waste and because of that soil cast the base the black base becomes lustrous and shiny and brilliant and this is a special feature so bidri vas first is correct gond painting uses not only dots but also lines and this is done by the gond tribes gond get their names from khond khond is a dravidian word and khond means green mountain and gonds have a recorded history of 1400 years so we have to keep in mind that the paintings which are done by tribe they are cultural heritage that is why it is also important then nagar shawl they have stories of tribes Uh, stitched in them, and that is also very important for us to know. First is correct, second is not correct, third is correct. Two only will be the correct answer. I have already introduced you with the news. Bidri was is purely an Indian innovation. However, many theories are there revolving around their Persian origin, but it is purely an Indian innovation, and it is exclusive to Bidar. Bidar is in here, Karnataka, as you can see over here. All right, and this is the vase, beautiful vase. so it is cast with an alloy of zinc copper and other non ferrous materials and pretty patterns are engraved on the casting this is like silver inlay work and whatever the uh, thing uh, whatever the lustrous technique is used is done with the help of the special soil uh, the casting is then soaked in a solution mis mixed with special soil of the bidar fort and it has special oxidizing property however we have to keep in mind that upsc can ask us or more in depth so you have to keep all these in mind okay so zinc alloy will turn into lustrous black and that is why you can see this is so beautiful it's full of luster and shine then we have nagar shawls this is a unique exotic textile art 
It is woven for centuries by the tribes of Nagaland. This is such a beautiful shawl and it has vibrant colors, intricate design, use of traditional weaving technique and each shawl tells a different story from the history of Naga tribes to the way of living, everything. Okay, moving on. Bone paintings are created by dots and lines like this. And this is also created on, uh, you know, walls of the houses that bones have. It is also known as Pardhan painting or Jangar Kalam. Alright, moving on. This is the Gond tribe. Recorded history of 1400 years. With respect to the state of India's birds, 2023 report. Consider the following statements. It is noted that peafowl, which is the national bird of India, is now present in every district of Kerala where they have traditionally remained rare. Species of birds which are considered specialist are more threatened than generalist. India is home to 232 endemic species found nowhere else in the world. So how many of the statements given above is or are not correct? This report has been published after three years. Three years of gap. And it is very difficult to conduct surveys of birds. That is why it is. It has taken such a long time to be published since its last time. So it is noted that the peafowl has increased in many areas where they were not ever seen. Especially, especially if we talk about high Himalayas. Kerala and it is noted that in each district of Kerala also now they are found. Not only this, their population density has also increased. So this is a good thing. First is correct. There is a species of a category of bird which is specialist that are generally residing in grassland, wetland. They are specialist because they are you know localized to an area than the generalists that are found almost in all places. And specialist because of the loss of habitat are becoming more threatened as compared to generalist. So second is also correct. India is home to 232 endemic species that are found nowhere else in the world. Not at all. So all three are correct. None will be the correct answer because we had to select the not correct statement. Right. Moving on. The state of India's birth 2023 report talks about or stresses on the distribution range where they are found. Trends in abundance. What is their trend? Where they are abundant and where they are not. Conservation status of 942 of India's 1200 bird species was done. It was carried out by 13 partner organizations, which also included Wildlife Institute of India and Zoological Survey of India. There is a general decline in the number of most of the bird species. General decline. Some recording current decline and some other projected to decline in the long term. Some are less right now, some will be lesser in the times to come. 30,000 bird watchers were involved. Raptors, migratory shorebirds, ducks. They have declined the most. So UPSC can ask us a question with respect to this. Indian peafowl, rock pigeon, Asian coal and house crow. They are growing in a healthy manner. They are healthy in both abundance that they are found in plenty amount. And the distribution is also good. But they are showing an increasing trend. Okay. The peafowl is one of the most rapidly increasing birds. Here is the Indian peafowl. Okay. Uh, we also call it peacock. Right. And. In the last 20 years, Indian peafowl has expanded to the high Himalayas, rainforest of Western Ghats. It now occurs in every district in Kerala, a state where it was once extremely rare. It also appears to be increasing in population density. Moving on, the Asian coil has also shown a rapid increase of 75% with an annual current rate is 2.7% per year. House crew is good to go, rock pigeon, Alexander, Alexandra and parakeet, the big parrot. Bird species which are specialist, they are because they are restricted to narrow habitats and when their habitat is lost, they become more threatened than the generalist species. Birds that are endemic to Western Ghats and Sri Lanka biodiversity hotspots have also de decreased. India is home to 232 endemic species that are found nowhere else in the world. This is the quick information that we had to go through. With respect to the India Smart Cities Award Contest 2022, consider the following statements. Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh tie at the third place for the state award. Indore has topped the cleanliness rankings under the Swachh Bharat mission for the past six years in a row. Delhi won in the overall union territory category. So what do we have to see? How many of, how many of the statements given above is or are not correct? You know what happens in your examination due to nervousness of this examination? You can certain times miss the word. Correct? Not correct. So keep in mind to check that as well. And now UPSC wants you to show, be sure of whatever you are reading. That means you want constant revision. I provide the PDF. I also provide the monthly compilation. I will provide you the Google 
drive link as well so you can find the june uh, july's current affair at one place august one place september at one place like this okay so do join the telegram channel rajasthan and uttar pradesh are at the third place when it comes to the place for state award first is madhya pradesh second is tamil nadu and indore has topped the cleanliness ranking under the swachh bharat mission for the past 6 years since the past 6 years in a row it has retained its, its position that's great first is correct second is correct third is not correct because it is chandigarh that has won in the overall union territory category so only one will be not correct the third statement one only will be the correct answer the india smart cities award contest is conducted under the smart city mission in different categories three editions have already been published 2018 2019 2020 but 2021 couldn't be done so we have 2022 the fourth edition started in april 2022 collecting everything there are two stages first is the qualifying stage in which the overall assessment is done and when we have the second is it's the proposal stage where the uh, states they submit the names of those cities or those states or those regions that have to get award in different categories so different categories are there project awards for 10 different themes innovation to different themes national zonal city awards state award union territory award and partners award as well all right indore is the best city madhya pradesh is the best state surat and agra were named second and third among best cities so you have to remember the top 3 because certain times upsc can ask us about top 3 as well tamil nadu is second third prize both uh, uttar pradesh and rajasthan got it now indore has topped the cleanliness ranking under the swachh bharat mission being named the cleanest city for the past 6 years so you have to remember the data as well all right madhya pradesh to won the tag of the cleanest city in the swachh swachh sarvekshan 2022 in the smart cities award indore has shared the first ranking with surat and then the chandigarh uh, sorry not right now this was the last time chandigarh also won the overall award in the union territory category okay mera bill mera adhikar yojana which is a scheme which has been developed on an ai based tap to promote tax compliance it has been adopted from the model app of which of the following states telangana kerala andhra pradesh tamil nadu there is a lucky bill app which has been developed in the state of kerala which asks the customers to upload certain bills whenever they are making a purchase it has helped kerala a lot when it comes to gst compliance and on the basis of that there is a roll out national roll out on a pilot model right now and this yojana is the mera bill mera adhikar yojana okay so the correct answer will be option b the model of lucky bill app it was developed it has been developed by digital university of kerala and the pilot roll out will be done in haryana gujarat andhra pradesh assam union territories of puducherry dadra and nagar haveli daman and diu this app ensures tax compliance among people it promotes transparency and also involves uh, you can say accumulates the culture or evolves the culture of asking for bill by the customers it also got the national award for e governance ask for bill culture that i was talking about it helps in the gst compliance it was launched in august 2022 to prevent tax evasion you have to keep that in mind consider the following statements 12th april is celebrated as the international day of human space flight to commemorate neil armstrong's arrival on the moon the national space day of india will be celebrated on the august uh, august 23rd okay so we have to see how many statements sorry which of the statements given above is or are correct recently prime minister modi today only went to isro to meet the scientists uh, at isro and congratulate them for this achievement and he said that the point where chandrayaan 3 landed it will be known as shiv shakti and the point where chandrayaan 2 landed that point will be known as tiranga so both the things you have to remember and because of this only because of this achievement when we soft landed on the moon on to august 23rd this day will be celebrated as the national space day of india okay so option 2 is a uh, statement 2 is correct first is not correct all the 12th april is celebrated as the international day of human space flight but it is to commemorate the space flight of yuri gagarin who was a soviet citizen so first is incorrect second is correct to only will be the correct answer this is upsc this is how it is going to confuse you okay 
Prime Minister has said certain things which are very important. He also mentioned Aryabhatta, Varahamira and Bhaskaracharya as the Israel scientists to read about them, to read their discoveries as well. Moving on, the General Assembly in its resolution this much of 7th April 2011 declared 12th April as the International Day of Human Space Flight to commemorate the arrival or we can say the space flight of Yuri Gagarin. Okay, uh, that was done in 1961 of course. First ever human to go into space. Who is the first foreign head of government to be awarded the Grand Cross of the Order of Honor? These are the given options and this has been given recently to the Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji. And this is Greece's second highest civilian award. Who's? The country of Greece. We know that Prime Minister is on a visit to Greece. One day visit, very important visit. And they have also said that we are going to double our trade by the year 2030. Okay, so option A will be the correct answer. The Grand Cross of the Order uh, of the Order of Honor. It is the uh, one that was established in 1975, second highest civilian honor in Greece. Okay, and the head of goddess Athena is depicted on the front side of the star with the inscription. Only the writers will be should be honored. With this, the Prime Minister of India has become the first ever foreign head of state to receive this award. All right, so these are the many important awards that have been given and honors that have been given to the prime minister when he went on a visit in 2023 you can see one two three four five six six honors have been given fiji's order of fiji papua new guinea's order of the loghu republic of palau's ibakal award egypt's order of the nine france's grand cross of the legion greece's grand cross of the order of honor then in 2021 bhutan's order of the druk gyalpo 2020 US government's Legion of Merit was also given. 2016 Afghanistan State Order of Ghazi Amir Amanullah Khan. So why am I telling you about all this? Because UPSC can ask us very well about it. So remember that in 2019 as well as 2023, so many awards were given to our Prime Minister. Moving on, this is a practice question that you have to name, uh, that you have to comment in the comment segment about. Which of the following countries is being called the sick man of Europe? France? Ukraine, Germany, Russia. Answer it correctly. Let me take the names of those students who have answered the last question correctly so that you can answer my next question as well. Uh, all right, stay with me for a moment. Yes, many of you have answered it correctly. Omkar has answered it correctly. Omkar, it's option B, although you have written it correctly, 2017. Okay, Ria has answered it correctly. Mandeep has answered it correctly. Nikhil. Certain uh, usernames are not pronounceable, so that is why I'm not pronouncing them. Komal. Then Yajjan, Lakshmi, Monica, Ritu, Bijay, Pragati, Priyadarshan, very good. Simran, uh, okay, I will take care of that, Arvind, what you have said. Utkal, Rohit, um, your neighbor, also Abhishek, Tejas, very good. So answer this question as well. Stay updated and thank you for watching.